Hey guy. Well, the department says since early last year, they've already arrested several people for throwing rocks onto moving cars. And now they're working to find those responsible for last night so they can minimize these incidents. Over the past year, multiple people have shared their story with Kega 9 about their cars being hit by people throwing rocks onto I-19 and I-10. The hood of my truck here ricocheted, bounced off and hit the center of the windshield. Right in front of my face and it just shatters the whole windshield. I heard a big pop and glass kind of flew at me, so I immediately pulled over. Just last night before 7, an Arizona Department of Public Safety trooper received a report of a collision near Ajo and I-19. A department spokesperson says when the trooper arrived, his vehicle was struck by a thrown rock causing damage to the windshield. That night, four other cars were damaged by rock throwers. Trooper Cameron Lee says this issue is not new to the department and they take these incidents very seriously. He says they've used numerous resources to find and apprehend these suspects. Since early last year, nine people, both adult and juvenile, have been arrested for rock throwing. Trooper Lee says if someone is caught throwing rocks at moving vehicles, there are serious consequences. Last month in Ohio, four teens threw sandbags off an overpass, crashing through a windshield and killing 22-year-old Marquise Bird. Those teens are now facing murder charges. We have confirmed with the department there were no injuries from last night, but the department does say this is an ongoing investigation. Reporting near Ajo and I-19, Priscilla Casper, KGA 9 on your side. Thank you, Priscilla.